My name is Robert Reek. I'm from Royal Manufacturing. Today we're going to show you our new gold dust concentrating table. I developed this table because uh, I went to Nome, Alaska and I got a bunch of concentrates back. In fact, I shipped four 30 pound boxes back of concentrates and I tried to process the material here and found out there was just nothing that I would grab that 600 and 800 mesh gold. So I spent about a year developing this and uh, it works really, really well. And we're going to show you how this works today. And we're going to open up the box and uh, show you everything about it. Um, first off, it comes off in a nice heavy box right here. Open the lid. And then uh, this box right here is all of our stuff that we have in it. We have our pump right here. We use a pump. It's a, it's a 12 volt pump and only draws 1.8 amps. Why we use this kind of pump is it's using 12 volt DC. That means we can take our unit out to the field and we're not stuck to a plug-in. So that's why we use this. It's very handy. We get a, a snuffer bottle. This is for recovering our gold. It's in our tray. We'll show you about that. Comes with a pump warranty. We have a brush. We'll show you this brush. We're working our concentrates down, the tailings down to help it uh, process faster. Comes with a little funnel and our little vial. We'll take our vial and put it in our thing and take our snuffer bottle and dump all of our concentrates in our bottle. And then that's right there. And then we have two little business cards right here. What we use for these is scraping the materials into a gold uh, pile or scraping them down into our thing. Little, just little cards. And then full operating instructions here. So everything that I'm showing you here on the video is all in, in written form right there. And then this box right here, this is how all that stuff is being held in there. And it's also our tailing box. We want to capture our tailings. We don't want our tailings going in with our, with our good water right there. So this is our constant, our uh, tailing bucket too. So all that stuff right there. Now we're going to look at the real machine right here. Now here's our concentrating. This is the heart of the whole system right here is a concentrating table here. We spent about a year developing this. Um, unlike other units out there, this has got an advanced weir system. So water flows over a weir, down a weir, over a wheel, and we're taking this pumped water and we're making it into a sheen of pure water. When we turn it on, you'll see how we just have a nice web, solid web of water right here. This uh, recovery mat is being held down with uh, 3M double back tape, which is the same tape they use for watercraft to hold the foam on watercraft so it's never going to come off. It's all powder coated, um, so there's no, no corrosion unlike uh, other ones out there which have uh, their black mat. Now the black mat, you're trying to get rid of the black sand. So with the green mat, you can actually see when all the black sand is gone and see a good contrast with the gold right there. And then we have our recovery tray right here, which flips up right here. And you'll see how we use this right here. This is all made out of stainless steel. Here at Royal, everything that we make, we're known for good quality. So we make it out of stainless steel. I make the stuff like I want to buy it. You know, this is, this is not cheap stuff. This is, you know, real prospecting equipment. You know, this is stainless steel. It folds up when you don't need it folds out of the way right there so the water flows over. When you do need it, it's right there where you need it. Perfect like that. We have an adjustable water flow valve. You can adjust your water flow right here. If you've got bigger gold, you can turn the water up faster and process more material. You've got really fine gold, what we're not going to show you today. We're going to show you gold that's, you know, like I said, 600, 800 mesh gold. You know, if we can capture that, we can capture the big stuff really easy. So this is the heart of the whole system um, that's really nice. You know, so uh, let's get it going and show you some good gold here. So we're going to set it aside. We're going to add our water here. And the last thing in our box is our leveling bar. This has got two leveling screws right here. And so we can get the, the thing level off really perfect. You want to see that web of water. You'll see in a few minutes how that water just flows right off there and makes a perfect even web of water. And that just locates right there in those two holes and it has these little adjustment bars. And I'll show you about that. Now we're ready to add our water. What kind of water we use? Well, just nice, clean, pure water. So um, we're going to add our water right here. We've got two and a half gallons here. We're just going to pour it in. That's about two and a half gallons. I like to have three gallons. I mean, just a little bit more. There's three gallons of water. So. With our water in there, this bucket, this bucket was produced by injection molding. They use what's called mold release on molds, which is basically uh, oils and stuff. And you see how this, all this water uh, beads on this stuff right here? Everything's got oil on it. Your hands have got oil on it. This bucket's got oil on it. Um, everything's got a sheen of oil on it. And oils are main 
um, enemy of, of really ultra-fine gold. What happens is that gold will float right on the surface and people say, that can't be gold, it's floating on the surface. It's because the surface tension of that oil, that slick, sits right on the top. So um, when we're doing this, we wouldn't want to have uh, any kind of oils, any hand lotions and so forth. So what we're going to do is we're going to add just jet dry. This is just the normal stuff you'd buy for put in your washer, in your dishwasher. What this does is it breaks it up. It doesn't leave any film and stuff. We only need about two drops per gallon. So we got about uh, three gallons. We need about six drops. So let's do adding two, three, four, five, six. Man, eh, right about there. It's not too critical. We're going to mix that up right there. Too much is going to cause bubbles. So you don't want too much. Let's mix it in right there. The next step is putting our tailing bucket in here. Here's our tailing bucket. This was all the stuff that was in, inside of there. So this is going to catch our tailings. So this will keep the dirt separate from our pump. So all we're going to do is put that right there. Just sink it with some water in it right there. Okay. Now we're ready to hook up our pump right here. This is our pump. Now again, I was telling you that it's running off a 12 volt. Why we use 12 volt is because we can get it out there in the field. We're not stuck onto a 110 outlet right there. So we can take it out in the field. Let's get this rubber band off here. Anyway. It's got three foot of leads on there. And right there. And that just drops off right there in the water. Now we hook up that right to our unit right here. As the hose comes around right there and just hook that right here. Now it doesn't go over it, it actually goes in it. Just push it inside, just gently push it inside and it works just fine like that, just like that. And then it's going to drop that right there in the water, right there. And we're going to put our leads over here so we can take them off. Now there's one stud right there. That one stud goes in that one hole right there. That keeps it from wiggling back and forth. And we just set the other one right there. That's generally we're ready to start right there. Now for power supply, we like a, uh, a sealed battery. This is a sealed battery. Why the sealed battery? We can kick it over, it's not dumping out. We can have it in the back of our truck and we're bouncing around, it's not flipping over and dumping acids on us. It's 35 amp hour of uh, power and it's fully sealed and it's a deep cycle battery. So this is what we like to use because we can use it out in the field and everything works really good. So now we're just going to set that right here. We're going to set our, our operating instructions and our pump warranty and all the stuff that we're not going to use right this very second here. We are going to use our brush and our, and our snuffer bottle. The lid is set aside. It's, un, it's not necessary right now. It's just to cover up and keep all your components inside during shipping. So we're going to set that, all that stuff right there. And then we're going to push this right up to the light so we can see. We, we're going to be seeing gold that's really ultra fine. So we want to be able to see it really right here. Then we're going to hook up our pump. Now everybody knows that red is positive and black is negative. You know, it's all color coded. So we're just going to turn it on right now. What we're going to do right now is just turn on and get our table wet. We're just trying to get it set. We're going to get the angle set and, uh, and, and leveled off. So as it sits right now, what this is the lowest point right here to right there, that's about a half inch to a five eighths of an angle. We can lessen that angle and make the water run slower. Okay, so we're going to hook up the red on the red and the black on the black and turn it on. We're going to have it wide open to start with. What we want to do is we want to flood the table and get it open and, and uh, get it fully, fully filled. It's going to take a little time for that water to go through all those weirs and stuff. Now when we look at the water right here, it's not, it's flowing, you know, 90% is right there. So what that tells me is, hey, we need to raise this side up if we're leaning this side. Okay, so now I'm starting to raise it up. Now it's starting to make this web. We're going to turn it down just a little bit, just so it's, it's not flowing so hard. We don't need to have it flowing that hard. And now we're just going to keep raising this side and raising that side, lowering this side. It's, we just want to get that nice web of water. Let's raise this side up a little bit more. We're doing it really well. Just keep, water tells you what to do. Just keep, keep lowering this side and raising that side. See how the water's starting to creep over here? So I'm creep over here, we'll raise this side a little bit more, lower this side, raise that side. We're just doing it a little at a time. We don't want to go too fast. Raise that side, see the water starting to creep over here. Lower this side. And we almost got it there. Raise this up a little bit more. Now, now we've got a full band of water going across there. Now the next thing you want to do is make sure there's no bubbles trapped underneath there. Like these bubbles right on here. 
there's not a problem. You, just, you can just knock them off right there. See, now there's nice, clean, even water. Now look at that web of water. Can you see that web of water right there? Now it's running a little bit fast right here. See this web of water? That's what we're trying to treat. Now the water has flown from all the way across right there. Now we're going to turn it down. It's running pretty fast there. So we're going to keep turning it down and down and down and down and down. What we want is just a sheen of water coming out of there. And time. Now the, the size can come away a little bit and now as we're getting it lower, we're going to be much finer uh, leveling it off. Now we can start seeing that we're starting to missing this corner, which means this side needs to come up a little bit because now it's finer adjustment. So let's just keep going it down and down and down and down. Now, now look at now it's heavier over here. That means we need to raise this side up. Okay. Once you get it leveled off, it's ready to go from there. You don't have to keep doing this. Okay, there it is. That looks like a really nice sheen of water. We can actually turn it down just a smidgen more, just a little bit more right there. It's like any, any gold prospecting item. Your setup is, you know, getting a dry washer set up, getting a sluice box set up. Once you get the angle set up and all the water flowing in there, it's ready to go. And I think we're ready to go right there. Maybe just turn it down just a little bit more. We'll find out when we start putting the materials on there. Okay, so now we're ready to add our materials. Now, material preparation is very important with this table. The water's nice and clean. We can see every little speck right here because it's not dirty water. Now, your concentrates, this concentrates, like I was trying to tell you, is coming from uh, the ocean, Nome, Alaska. Okay, so it's been in the water, it's clean, there's no clays and stuff. So we didn't have to wash this. It's already been washed, very clean. Now, if you're using materials from, a, say, a, a, a dredge or a high banker or something where you have a lot of clays in there, you want to take that material and just drop it into a bucket. Just get yourself a bucket like this and just drop it, get it halfway full of clean water, drop your, your concentrates in there, you know. Bust up any clods you have and stuff. What you want to do is work that concentrate so it's pretty much clean. So when you add it on here, you have a nice clean, you can see that really fine gold. And also you want to classify it down to 20 mesh. About 1 16th is 20 mesh, you know. Tw meshes are how many squares per inch. So if you, if you take one inch and divide it by 20, it's like 0 .050, you know, it's like 60, uh, 1 16th. So we don't want anything bigger than 1 16th on the table, okay? So wash your concentrates, screen them down to 20 mesh, and then we're ready to go here. Okay, here was our nice band of water coming right off. We got it running really nice and low, low speed right here. Let's add our, our uh, scoop of materials right here. Now what we want to do is just put up at the farthest point of the head as possible right here. Okay, so just, just spoon it right here. Just, just get it right here. Right there. Okay, and again, we don't want to touch the front of the materials. And we're going to use our brush. Now, you see the blonde sand run down very quickly because that's the lightest material, okay? Just don't touch the front of the head right here. Let that, let that water work on the head right here. Now, once it's moved, this is all tailings, okay? See all the black sand just moving down? There, you can see there's no gold right here. Once, the, once it moves, is the blonde sand moves the fastest because that's the lightest material. This black sand is the heaviest. Now again, all we're doing is helping the material down, taking some of the pressure off the head so we can, the water can work it faster. But just keep your eye on there. If you see some, some gold moving, we can bring it, drag it back up. Right now, here's our gold field right here. See the gold field right here coming up right here? We have a nice big piece right here. Now here's the last of that head where I'm not going to touch it right there. Right there, look at there's two spots right there. Two little specks right here. Now all this is tailings. It's this light blonde sand. There's no gold right here. Okay? So we're going to take our, move all, everything down. Okay? Just keep going. That's, again, fool's gold, you know? Everybody's, everybody's looking for the big piece, you know? It's that iron pyrite stuff, you know, nice shiny stuff. And again, this has been moved before, so there shouldn't be anything under there, but there's nothing right here. Can you see it right here? Here's our Here's our lowest piece of gold right, right there. There's another one right there and there and there. Here comes that last of the head again. I'm going to brush that down. In fact, there's one right there. There's nothing there. There's nothing I'm brushing down right there. Okay. We've got one little spot here. We're just going to help to work it a little bit. Just touch it. Sometimes you can touch it and make a little wave in the front and work it a little bit right there. But again, we don't want to touch that front. Okay. And we're looking for gold that's traveling down further. Now again, with the green table, we can see when the black sand is gone. So we know that we can see this little spot right there. And we can just 
get it, add a little bit of tension to it right there just to break it loose. Now, right there, and I'm being extra careful because we're dealing with, with uh, very fine flower gold, okay? So there's nothing, there's nothing lower than, than these guys right here. And this guy, this guy's probably about 400 mesh. This is about, uh, I'd say that's 200 mesh, this guy right here. And some of these particles right here, like this one, I don't know if you can get your see an eye on that, but that's probably a thousand. This is 600, 800, you know. But you see our gold field. You see where we dumped it across right here? This is all of our gold. There's no black sand. There's nothing on the table. We haven't lost any gold. And the lowest gold we got is right there, you know. Now, we have two things we can do right now. We can either suck it up one by one by one with our snuffer bottle, which is kind of tedious with, with, with how much gold's on there. Or we can turn the water off and we use our little plastic business card and we can make a whole uh, web of gold. So I would turn the water off right now. Now, one thing is the gold is being magnified, okay? When the water disappears, now let's just, let's just, let's just make a, uh, a band of gold right here. Now look at that, some of our gold is floating. Let me make sure, right there. There's a whole band of gold right there. That's all the gold that was on the table right there. Just scraped it that easy. This table is not, not, it's not, you're not going to hurt it by scraping across it like that. But there's all of our gold we got off, off that one little spoonful. Um, now we have two, two options. We can, now when I was, when I was saying about it, it was, the, this, this is under magnification. When you put gold in a vial, you like, ah, oh, look at a lot of gold in there. But you look at the bottom, it's like, that's hardly any. The same thing is true here. We're magnified. That gold right there is only half that size because it's under in that drip. You get that drip off there, you'll find out that you can barely even see that gold because it's magnified two times. You know what I'm saying? So what we can do right now, we, we can take our, our, this is our recovery tray. We just flip it up and it's made out of stainless steel. All we're going to do is we can just card that right there. See the gold right there? That easy. That easy. There's, there, there's, now there could be a little speck on there. When we turn the water back on, that's when it magnifies it two times and we can see if there's anything missing. But right there, you see our gold right there? All we're going to do is drop it right, right there. We know where it's at. It's right at the bottom of that V. And again, we're just going to card everything down right here. There'll be some gold up there. And we'll turn it back on and we'll see what we got right there. But all of our gold is right there at the bottom of that V. Very nice. Very easy. And then just take your snuffer bottle and we'll just pick it up. Here we go. Just, we got all that gold. I like to go twice just for the heck of it, you know. I want to get every little bit there. We work really hard getting that stuff. We're not going to lose it now. And then here's our recovery tray. When we don't want our recovery tray, back up underneath. It's all, all out of the way right now. Our table's all nice and clean now. Now we have to start the machine over again. Now what we do is we, we can start the, with a full load of water or we can tilt the machine up and let it build up water in the, in the weir. So now we're just going to turn it back on, which is putting one lead back on. I'm going to pick it up a little bit and just let it build up with pressure again. So we don't have to turn, we don't have to adjust the flow. What we're trying to do is load the machine with water so it's all covered. And it'll just lay it down gently right there. And what, just like I told you, we got a speck right here. Can you see that? Can you see that right there? And we got one right here and one right here. So all that carding, we couldn't see it because it wasn't magnified. Let's get this, this guy right here. We can right here, just come up behind him. Got him. See that? Gone. Now here's this one right here. Now we're down with two. In fact, there's a, probably a thousand mesh. I don't know if we can zoom in on this right here, but there's a, probably a thousand mesh spec right there. Now they're two side by side. That's a, probably a 800 with a thousand next door to it. Okay. So again, we can come over here and just got him. So now we're left with this guy right here and we want to get him off there. Get off there. You're on our table. We want you off there. Get off there. You know, I'm just showing you how hard it's stuck on there. We're making waves. We're pounding you. Get off my table. You know, that's the power of this mat. I went through, I tried sticky mats. I tried black mats. I tried all different type of stuff. And then I found this stuff. This is the ultimate, you know. It required me getting a microscope to understand the structure of it. There we, we knocked him off a little bit, but he's stuck again. Come on, get off there. You know, that is stuck on there. Any other table like that, this is not painted on there. Some tables out there, they're green. It's, it's, they, they took chalk paint and they painted, painted it on there. And eventually it's going to come off. 
you know, it's gonna, it's painted on, it's all paint chips. This is not, not, not uh, chipped on there, not painted on there. But you can see the amount of tension that I'm putting on there to get that thing off there. It's just amazing. There's nothing out on the market that, that works as good as this, you know, for that kind of goal. Now we, we, we can cart it off there or we can just come with our little snuffer bottle and just grab them right there. Right. Oops, we got away from this. And again, we can cart it off and snuff them up into the tray down there too if we wanted to. And again, I would turn the water off. I can actually see it down at the bottom. Right there. Pull the tray back. We're clean. Now we're ready for the next load of materials. And again, I keep my brush right there. So basically the tools that we're using is our little paint brush and our little plastic card. And again, not going to hurt it. Anything. So this material, this material came off the beaches. This one came out of, this is dry. And again, we this is all clean. It's been worked with water. This is a little bit uh, more concentrated. This came out of our beach box. So this has been concentrated and thing. So we're going, going to, there's some bigger gold right there already. Now some floating on the top, but uh, we're just going to add it on there. But ooh, you can see how rich this stuff is. This is amazing. Really amazing. We got to watch out. We don't, we've added a little bit thick right there, but can you see that gold up there? This, now this stuff was taken right off the beaches. This is out of our beach box. So this has been concentrated already. Now we're getting some little bit of gold right here, but it's all stuck on there. Right here, working on the head. That's a little bit thick right there. We should have put it on there a little bit slower. We got one piece right here. We can bring him up back up. Up right there. There he's up right there. I can stick him back on the mat. Put it, should have added a little bit slower on there because that's so rich. Look at that. That is amazing. I have never seen this. I bring all this, the concentrates back and had no way of uh, processing it because you can't pan that kind of gold. You can't. I mean, it's just impossible. But with our system here, it makes, makes uh, everybody a professional panner, okay? Again, we're not, we got a clear pathway right here. We're not going to let that work right there. Here we just, we can put a little dot of water right there. Just get it to break and loose right there. Letting this work right there. I don't want to touch that, the head right there. In fact, I don't want to touch any of this stuff because there's so much gold right there. Again, this came out of our, our beach box. This is right off the beaches. This is how, how uh, rich the gold, gold beaches of Noma is. Okay. But you can just see the amount of gold there. It's just amazing. I've never, like I said, I, I've never panned this stuff out. We brung, like I said, we brung uh, four, four boxes. If it ships, it fits boxes back with us. And, uh, and again, I can just put a couple drips of water right there to work it. Right there. But I don't want to touch it. Okay. And again, all that gold is stuck right down. We're not, we're not losing. And we have our tailing box here. If you want to run it again, see what you lost. If you, if you, you think you've lost something, you can do that. Again, I'm just going to put a couple drops on there, you know, just to break up the tension. You see that? But I'm not touching it with my brush. Okay. See that? And again, I probably should have been on a little bit. If I knew it was that rich, I would have put it on much slower, you know. That's, that's some rich stuff there. And again, this is the type of stuff, there's nothing bigger than, uh, <laughs> nothing bigger than, uh, you know, 40 mesh here. Well, maybe that one right there is 40 mesh. Again, right there, we're going to help it because there's no, there's a speck of gold right there. There, that is amazing. Look at that. That is, this is gold that you would never find. All this stuff right here, you would have lost panning it. So let's, let's turn it off. And get our recover. Let's get our now again. Here comes the water again. It's going to you're going to see now. You can just see how it how that uh, how that uh, water magnifies that gold. That is amazing. That is really amazing. Look at that. That is a nice button of gold right there. Again, you see the magnification underneath the uh, the water there. You got one little. A little black thing. I don't know what it is, but look at that. That is that is amazing. Look at you can actually see when moving that uh, bubble around the, the magnification on it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we got a lot of gold here. So we're just going to tip up our tray again, and we know where the water's going. It's I mean the the gold's going right there. Look at that. You know, 
right there, that easy. Again, that gold we probably couldn't, I need to get more water on here. We might just bump the pump on again, just let it wash it down. We need a little bit more water. I spend a lot of time talking, less time working. More, more uh, work, less uh, talk. <laughs> Anyways, so this is a really amazing. Again, we're not hurting the table. It's, 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 it's rubber. It's, it's polyurethane. It's not going to, uh, not going to uh, chip or peel or anything. So we know, we, I can see it's this amazing yellow down there. And again, this is, these little cards come with it. And it's just, just a business card, just a little plastic business card, our card, our name on it. And that's it. Again, I'm going to take my finger and just help it fall down because it's, like I said, that's, Really amazing there. And it's still stuck on there. This, this, this is such a gold dust. And when we got it out of the beach box, the whole, bo the whole size of the box, it was a plastic box like this, was just covered with gold. You know, it was just stuck because it's just so fine, like gold leaf, you know. Anyway, so there's all of our gold. Let's give it a little tap right there. Tap it down to the bottom. I can just see it's gold. Can you just see that right there? Can you see that band of gold? It's just amazing, you know. So, getting my snuffer bottle right here, and then right there. I mean, didn't get it all. It's gotten open over there. There we go. And again, we can probably turn it back on, and we'll see some stuff that we missed. But it's stuck on there. It's not going anywhere. Once it's on that mat, and it's it, you, see, you see me pounding it, it doesn't want to cut off there. It's it's found its niche and it's staying there. We're going to just take one more suck on that. Just. Give it a little bit more pound. You know where it's going. It's going right down to that V. It's such a, there's no uh, if, ands, and buts about it. It's right there. There we go. And then when we don't want it, it's back there. Now I can still see a few, but that was amazing. So let's turn the water back on and we're still gonna do the same thing. Like I said, there's two ways. We can either pick it up like I showed you and load that up again. And again, there's advanced, unlike other systems out there, where they have, uh, one of them has Barillo pads in it, where they're going through a, uh, like a SOS pad, and the pad will fill up. Now, again, we moved it a little bit. All we gotta do is, the water tells you what to do. So this side needs to come up. And you see some specks of gold right there. Well, we just crank this one up and push that one down. And again, I haven't changed the water. I can pick my hand and help helping it up. Or we can just turn the water up a little bit more. But th the water tells you what to do. Of course, it's running over here. The side's gotta be higher. See it creeping back over there? Going really well. This is real easy. Doesn't, doesn't take any skill. Now you can start seeing the gold that we left behind. It's stuck on there. We can pick it up with our bottle. Here's our, here's our, uh oh. Should have uh, shook it down because we just added more gold to it. Well, <laughs> should have, should have, uh, it was stuck in the straw there. Let's, um, let's card that gold. That's too much gold to uh, mess around right there. Picking it up. Let's cart it all the way back. Let's get the table a little bit cleaner. Now I have a little bit more water to work with there. Got to make sure your snuffer bottle is your straw is sticking out in enough that when you turn your bottle upside down, that your gold is falling here and not down your straw. Okay, that's what my problem was right there. The straw was out too far. Okay, push our table back down and let's turn it back on and continue. Uh, prospecting here. Let's see what we're gonna get. You know, I like gold prospecting. It's like Christmas, you know, you never know what you're gonna find. I was really amazed about that. I had try tried some stuff out there, but that must have been a little bit, uh, and again, we can pick it up and load it with, load the water up right here. Just load, load those weir, weir up. We're trying to cover the table with water, okay? And then set it back down gently, okay? So the whole table's loaded. And if it doesn't load, we can turn the water up a little bit more. We gotta get that table completely full of water. And we can use our hand to help cover it like that, see that? And then we're just gonna turn it down to where we want it to go, you know? Again, we don't want any bubbles in there. Take the bubbles off, get that nice and clean. Right there, just turn it down, 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 down. And again, that nice web of water, turning this one up, turn this one down, right there. Look at that, how the web's coming clear across. See, that's like a waterfall. That'd be like hiding underneath the uh, waterfall out in Hawaii, you know, where you can see through. It's just, just one nice band of water. Really nice there, right there. We're ready to add more material. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit more. 
let's play with this stuff on the beach. And again, we're just going to grab, there's a thing. Now, what I'm showing you here, let's, let's look at this. I want to show you one thing about gold magnets. Everybody thinks, oh, I got to get a really strong magnet to get all that black sand out of there, you know? So here's a, we haven't, there's all the black sand. See that black sand right there? We're going to throw that on there right there. Wow. That was amazing. <clears throat> Look how much gold we picked up with that, with this magnet. It's a really weak magnet, but look how much gold. That's all, that's all black sand, but you can see how much gold we, we were losing. Now everybody's like, oh, I'm going to get rid of all that black sand. Get that out of my way. Well, guess what all that gold you got out of your way too, you know? And again, once it moves, it's tailings, okay? We got one piece right here. Got to be a little bit careful because this is pure, heavy, heavy uh, black sand. And again, if I, wanna, I don't want to touch that front, but look at I can do a drop right there, right there. Got to be a little bit careful. Look at that. We would have lost. Let's get rid of all that black sand. There's more black sand. Let's get rid of that black sand, right? Yeah. Look how much gold we would have got rid of too. That's why you don't want a really heavy magnet because it's magnets pulling up all that gold. And again, here I'm just going to put a couple drops on there. Just trying to be extra careful. If they got bigger gold. We could turn the water up and work it faster, but we got flower gold right there. Put a drop right there. I don't want to touch it. Don't want to touch it. Let the water let the water work on it. That's not gold. This is not gold. If it's moving that fast, it's not gold. You can see there's one little speck right here. You can get, zoom in on that piece right there. That's our lowest piece right there. And again, all I'm going to do is add a drop of water right there. There's one piece right there, you know. We can brush around them. There you go. He's right there still. There we go. Eh, there's one little black piece right there. But look, this is how much gold we would have gave up by using our magnet right there, right there. All that gold was stuck in the layers of the black sand. And again, we can turn it off or we can card it, card it back up, put it all into one band of gold right here. And we can suck it up with our snuffer bottle. Again, make sure everything's down. And again, that's so much material right there, I would just turn it off and, and, and card it back into our thing. Again, turn it off. But there's, there's how much gold you would have lost with your, with your magnet, your real powerful magnet, just grabbing that gold. Okay, so don't get all those rare earth magnets and get rid of all that black sand because it's sucking up gold too. Now, if you're panning that, I don't think you would be able to catch any of that. That's all 600, 800, uh, uh, we're for a snuffer bottle right here. And again, we know where the gold is. It's right at the bottom of that pan right there. And all we're going to do is snuff it up. Start one side, we're done. We can take a quick look and folds out of the way. Nothing like it. So let's turn it back on again and uh, keep prospecting. Turn the pump on. And again, if we want to run our materials again, it's right there in our, in our tub right there. Now, we've got to get the water all the way across. We can help it with our hand or we can pick it up and, and load it again. That way we don't have to uh, change the water flow. We're trying to load those weirs up with, wa with water. And then we're just going to set it down gently, okay? Just set it down gently. Oops. We didn't set it down level. Right there. And we got any little bubbles and stuff there. We can help it with our hand. Okay? So that's telling me that this side has got to go up and this side's got to go down. Up. Down. And again, we can just help it with our hand right here. Just get it started. Right there. Get it started right there. We might have a little bit low. You can turn on a little bit more water. Okay, once we get the water all the way across, bring it back down. Now we still have some little guys hanging on. We're going to get rid of all the bubbles. We still have, we're going to get that nice web of water. Keep turning it down, down, down. Here we got a couple little pieces again. Can we see these pieces right here? Can we, can we see those little pieces right there? Those two guys side by side. 
There was one over here, I, I hit him with my finger. There's those two guys side by side. Can we see those? Can you see those two little guys? Get off my mat there. Get off of there. Get off there. Uh-oh. Well, they're still side by side right there. We made a thing. So, we want to get those off there. We can just snuff them up with our snuffer bottle. They got them. They're still stuck on there. We'll wait till they get the next next load. They're, they're still they're not going to go anywhere. You think they're going to go someplace? Get off there. Okay, so let's add our next one. Let's keep playing with the the beach load of stuff. This is a little bit uh, less rich. And again, we haven't taken. That's why I just pulled this magnet up there, just trying to show you that the black sand is still inside there. I don't know about this was wet. It's not, it's not coming off as easy. Again, we don't want to drop it there. We want to drop it right here at the head of it, right here at the head of it, okay? And try to make it even as possible, you know? It's not, it doesn't take, this doesn't take any skill, okay? The average guy, as soon as you open the box, you're going to be able to do this. Now again, you see all this blonde sand? Just blonde sand, that's the lightest material, so it's going to go down the fastest, okay? And again, we're just gonna look around. We got some gold right here. That's stuff left over, left over from last time. And somehow, gotta raise this up a little bit more. Get a little bit more dirt going, water flowing over there. We don't wanna touch the head there. Let the water. We got it really turned down low, okay? If we had bigger gold, we would have it run faster. Again, we don't wanna touch the head. You can see our gold field. See our gold field right here? where it's just dropping it all off right there. And again, all we're doing is help it. Now we can take, just keep looking at it and make sure that we're not brushing anything. If you can see a piece coming down, there's one right there, right there, probably 800 mesh. That's the one I can see the lowest. So I just don't want to brush right there. And again, just don't work the head right there. Just let the water do the, pro the, the process. Again, if we take the back off, the head will, will, will work on it faster. Again, there's that little piece right there. Right there is our little piece that we're being careful about. And we're just helping it down. There's nothing, there's nothing down here. There's one big piece right here, right there. If you got one big piece, we can go just come over with our snuffer bottle and just grab them really quick. So now we're just gonna come over, we can come over our snuffer bottle, just so we don't brush them out of the way right there. We just come over here and we can get them. There we got them. And again, not touching the head of, of the materials. Let the water build up. You want to do something? Just put a drip on it. Okay? Right there. And again, that piece is still sitting there. That's the piece that we started talking about that we don't want to brush down. We need to do some brushing. Just keep an eye on, on the lowest point of the gold. And again, just Add a couple drips right here. We don't want, we can pull the back off, but don't touch the front. Again, this gold we can never pan. It's just, it's just too fine. We got one right here too. Let's say with the, gr the green on, on the black, we can see when all the black sand's gone. Unlike units made out of black um, foam, Actually, the foam they use is open cell and it's un, un um, powder coated. So what happens is the water goes inside of the foam rubber and corrodes the bottom, and then your mat comes off. And again, we don't have that because we're fully powder coated, and this is not absorbent material. Okay, there's that. There's that one we're still watching from the very beginning. It's still right there. Here's our gold field that we dropped our gold all the way across here, okay? We got one little black sand right there. And there, that's, that's it. We're ready to go. Nothing but pure gold. Turn it off. Again, here comes the water. It's moving, gone, you know, moving away. We can card it into a solid band of gold. Look at that. This is directly off the beaches of Nome, okay? The other stuff I showed you, the scoop before that, that was out of our beach box. That had been concentrated. But this is stuff you can scrape right off the beaches of Nome. It's that rich. It's that fine though, right there. There's a nice real button of gold right there. That's really amazing, you know. Uh, gold prospecting is one of the few, few uh, 
hobbies that actually pays a dividend. There's a good dividend there, you know. And I get really excited, you know. Like I said, it's like it's like Christmas. What's in the next scoop, you know? Can we? What kind of gold can we find, you know? And now with this machine, you can actually keep that gold, you know, that flower, fine, fine, fine gold right there. That's a really nice button right there, you know. That is amazing. There's nothing out out there that will do what this machine can do, and uh, it's right there, and it's it's uh, no experience really. The water tells you how where to put it. And, and that's how fine it is. If we had bigger gold, we could run it faster, but this is it. This is uh, right there. Oh, we gotta get rid of this gold here. So maybe we should scrape it off. Uh, and we should, you know, so here's, here's our gold. We'll just drop it right in there. We know where it's going. It's going right to the bottom of that tray. That tray is so, so convenient right there. It's right there. You know where it's at right there. So we're just gonna get our snuffer bottle again and all the way across. I like to do it twice. I'm gonna get every little bit. If I'm gonna, out there digging, I'm gonna get all of it. So now we're ready to put our unit away, okay? So like I was trying to tell you, inside here is a weir system. It's uh, going through a, a, a up, down, up, down, goes through some holes, and again, unlike the Barillo pad ones, they're, they're putting a screen in there. They tell you you gotta clean it out every 10 unit, every 10 times, because the, the pads are getting clogged with fine dirt. Um, there's, no, there's, no, there's nothing to get clogged inside there. Now it does hold water though. So <clears throat> for taking it home, taking it, getting it down, taking it apart, all we're gonna do is take it and it's full of, it's, that weir system is full of water. So first off we just tilt it, tilt it upside down, tilt it upside down. That gets the water over one weir and tilt it back. There's the water there. Tilt the back, just back and forth like three times. We'd remove the pump, okay? Again, this is professionally made. Everything that we make is super quality. The corners are welded right here, TIG welded right here, right here. You know, again, I told you the mat is, is held down there with 3M double back tape. The tape's really expensive. It's the same tape that we use in all of our sluice boxes that holds the rubber down. So it's specifically made for holding foam and rubber down. Okay, so there we got it taken, taken out right there. So there's our, 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 uh, our tray right there. We can set that aside now. You can see, let me set this right there. You can see our tailing box. And then again, here's our leveling right here. Now all of our tailings are right there, right there. If we wanna run our tailings again, if you think we ran it too fast or something, you can run, run it over, but it's right there. Right there. Okay, so that's our tailing box. We get done. Remember that came with the the vial and the uh, funnel. So what you do is you take your take your uh, vial right here and, and fill it up and show everybody what you got. Uh, you can just take your take the thing off. Take your uh, your bottle off right there. And again, we haven't done a whole lot here. But uh, what I like to do is shake it up and get it moving and stick it on my th upside down so it's right there. So. A little bit of, little bit of work right there. Just make sure you got every little bit right there. When you pull it out, you want to not have the funnel can can over overdo the uh, the uh, can wash the gold out because you have all that going washing in there really fast. And again, uh, right there, there's our gold that we got right there. And again, it's magnified two times. You know, got a little black sand in there, but not bad. We're we're doing it right there, but. That is gold that we could never recover if we we're just panning, okay? And it's so simple, you know, just, just uh, real easy. There's our gold right there. Well, it was four or five spoonfuls of, of, real, of concentrated right there. Good gold. Three. Now you've seen our machine working right well. You want to go out there and get your own uh, stuff. And uh, we have everything you, you need to get all that gold that you've seen here. We have sluice boxes and dry washers and... Uh, 
picks and everything that you need to get this gold that you see that I got here. And uh, like I said, gold prospecting is a lot of fun. It's like uh, being independent, you know, it's, it's, you actually went out there and find that, you know, you tell your neighbor that, hey, I just went out and find, found this gold right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, I really did, you know, it's really nice, really neat, you know. We also have instructional videos, just like this video, that shows you how to run a uh, dry washer, how to set up the angles, to uh, how to run a sluice box, where to get the materials, how to classify, how to set the angle, you know, everything that you need to make, to find your own gold, you know, to find your your for your fortune next time anyways so uh, go to our website right now uh, royal m f g i n d dot com and uh, hope to see you out soon thank you